Good to see you, Hunter. There are so many items in the Store of the Hunter Classic, and one of the most frequently asked questions from new players is, what should I buy first? For those of you who want to spend their hard-earned money wisely, here are some tips. Well, surely happiness can be found. Surely there's someone for me. Oh, who cares? Yes, who cares? For me. If you have not yet picked up the free single shot shotgun, make sure to do this now. This shotgun uses the free 12 gauge ammo. So whenever you start a new hunt, you will get three full boxes of all three ammo types. With this shotgun, you can shoot all animals except the three cow species, while the buffalo, banteng and bison. Next and for me, the absolute most essential items are the collars. The animals are so much easier to hunt if you have these collars. Some of these collars will make the animals come to you. Some of them will make them respond so you can know where their position is. And some of them will do both, such as the elk bugle collar. You can buy each collar separately. Or if you go to bundles, there is the so-called crazy collar bundle. And this bundle combines a lot of useful collars. This, however, has to be purchased with EM dollars. The 243 is a nice rifle, but not permitted for larger game. And the shotgun is only good for short range. So next, get a nice upper class rifle with a broad range of permitted species. My recommendations would be the 9.3x74R. This is a very powerful rifle and it comes in two variations. Both variations, of course, perform the same way. And if you look at the list of permitted species, it's just insanely long. It reaches from the largest animal, the water buffalo, all the way down to coyote. Only two scopes can be used for this rifle, which is a bit of a downside. However, both scopes are really good. And I often use this illuminated rifle scope. My next recommendation would be the drilling combination gun. It's also using the 9.3x74R ammo for its rifle part, so it has the same long list of permitted species, but then of course it has also the built-in 16 gauge shotgun part, and with that it makes the list of permitted species complete. You can hunt all permanently available animals. The scope selection is minor. You can use the shotgun slug scope, and then you can also use the dedicated rifle scope, but the really strong rifle part makes up for the scope disadvantage. My next recommendation is the inline muzzle loader. This is a really fun to use rifle and it is pretty powerful too. The inline muzzle loader has a good list of scopes and certainly a large list of permitted species. It takes a little bit of time to load every time, but then it's a muzzle loader after all. If you like classic rifles and a bit of a challenge, how about the 762x54R Classic Rifle? Among all of the classic rifles, I like this one the most because of its powerful performance and also because you can hunt about half of all the animals in the game. Next, look for a zoomable scope that fits many rifles. I would recommend the following two. The 56mm rifle scope the zoom reaches from 5.5 to 22, which is currently the best zoom available in the game. Just look at the endless list of rifles that this site can be used for. The only downside is that close-up shots and especially follow-up shots can be difficult, as the smallest zoom of 5.5 is still a big magnification. A really good alternative is the 3 to 9 by 40 mm Anchets rifle scope which also comes in two variations. This scope is a must pick in your early shopping days due to a very practical range of zoom levels as well as a really long list of rifles you can mount this on. What I have shown you so far would be items I can recommend to every player. From there on, it really depends a lot on your preferred hunting style. Wow. 
many players enjoy bow hunting. There are modern composite bows that are a bit easier to shoot. They can all shoot tracer arrows. Many of them can use a sight. The classic bows are more for fun and for a good challenge. But they certainly do the job when it comes to making silent kills. Many also enjoy the high-tech crossbows in the game. I would recommend the reverse draw crossbow. My recommendation is based on the better scope available. Almost its own game in the game is waterfowling. Duck and goose hunting is really fun, but you will need a decent shotgun, blinds, collars and decoys. Waterfowling is a good provider for GM dollars after all. As a new player you only have 10 units of capacity in your inventory. This will soon be too little. Go to upgrades and find increased capacity. This will raise your capacity to 20 units, which doubles your amount of inventory you can carry around. You may have already detected the fact that with missions you can make a lot of GM dollars. Two recommendations here. Number one, check out the wiki which lists all missions and shows what equipment is required for each mission. This may also help you decide what equipment you want to buy next. And number two, there is an option in the store to reset all of your missions in case you like to grind some of them. After you play the game a bit and check out all reserves, you will get a better idea of what suits you and what equipment in turn you need. This game has a large content meanwhile with over 1000 items to buy in the store. And now I would like to address some specific questions that come up frequently. Do I need tents? Well, I would say tents are very useful if you do not want to start at the lodges all the time. Or if you want to fast travel to your favorite hunting spots. I have acquired many tents and once I have found a good spot, I rarely remove that tent again. Do I need a vehicle? Vehicles are pretty slow in the Hunter Classic and also use a lot of gas. You can buy a pass to get free gas though. Where I would really recommend to use vehicles is for two things. You can quicker get to an area where you want to set up your equipment, such as tents or feeders. And you can use them for the many travel missions. There sure are some long journeys to do. Do I need a dog? There are three types of dogs available. A German pointer to find your animals faster. Send hounds to help you track wounded animals. And a retriever to collect small game after shot. Dogs are nicely done in the Hunter Classic. I sure use one for waterfowling. But just in general, if you like dogs in real life, you might as well enjoy it in the game. Do I need camo clothes? Camo clothes definitely work and can get you an advantage. Whenever I cannot use my usual clothes, for example in cold or hot areas, I do use certain camo clothes. Then there is also a bit of a vanity factor, how you would like to look in the game. Certain clothes protect you in specific areas, certain against deer. For clothes, I really recommend you study the wiki a little bit to find out what would suit you best, depending on your preferred areas and animals to hunt. Do I need stands? Stands are a great addition to the game and give you a whole new dimension to your hunting outings. I really love the tree stand and also the deployable tower, so I can really recommend those. The other stands also have their applications, check their features in the store and decide what should support your hiding. This sure is a lot of stuff to consider. If you have any more questions or recommendations on your favorite items in the store, please leave them in the comments below. Until next time, thank you very much, stay in touch.